Seven-year-old at EMS just pulled unconscious from a house. EMS says the carbon monoxide detector was going off. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab your cheat sheets. Remember, whatever you're using, whether it's Brazzle tape or hand heavy, red goes to the head and measure to the heel. And you can see clearly this child falls into the orange zone. And now to Scott for your quick tip. So carbon monoxide, whether it's from smoke inhalation with a house fire or the regrettable situation of a teenage kid who starts the car in the garage as a suicide attempt. When you're dealing with carbon monoxide poisoning, remember a couple things. Number one is that carbon monoxide has over 200 times the affinity for hemoglobin that oxygen does. That's important because in a fair fight, simply you put oxygen head to head with carbon monoxide, carbon monoxide wins every single time. The other issue, and probably most importantly, is yes, you're gonna give them boatloads of oxygen, but in everyday care, what does pulse oximetry tell you? And in the presence of CO or carbon monoxide poisoning, the answer is called nothing. Remember that pulse oximeters say hemoglobin is hanging out with something, but it's not smart enough to figure out if it's oxygen or carbon monoxide. It just says that hemoglobin is shacking up with something. And people say, especially on the fire service side, that that's true, but they have the new fancy pulse ox. And the new fancy pulse ox can actually differentiate oxygen versus carbon monoxide. And if you've got it, great, use it. However, most ambulances and ERs that I played in have the good old fashioned pulse ox. And good old fashioned pulse ox is just say hemoglobin is bound to something. And why that's absolutely crucial to remember is you have a kid from a house fire, sick as a dog, actively trying to die, hits the door, everybody's all excited because the pulse ox is flashing 100%. Respiratory therapy calls five minutes later with a gas saying your carbon monoxide level is 30%. What is this kid's real pulse ox is 70 Whatever cute little number is flashing, you subtract your carbon monoxide, and that's your real pulse ox. So if you've got the fancy pulse ox that can differentiate between the two, great, absolutely use it. But if you've got a good old fashioned pulse ox, remember it can't tell the difference. So until you get your carbon monoxide level back, it's 100% oxygen for everybody.